Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, back with some more EVE Online. <clears throat> in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick little update on what I'm still doing at, in the game at the moment. And it's still the Guardians Gala site. I'm actually still having fun with them. I'm still running them. I'm sticking to the Gila. It's basically uh, one of the best possible ships to run these sites. I get to clean these up in a couple of minutes, so it's really perfect. I don't feel the need to go and... Um, look for different kind of builds or different kind of ships to run these sites this is just perfect for me and uh, some people said you know this is clearly tailored to the uh, alpha clones and for for more casual playstyle. and i fully agree uh, but for me it comes at an absolutely perfect time um, it's crazy busy at my work so i'm definitely getting less eve online play time than i normally do uh, on top of that, every single day something new pops up that I still have to look into uh, after work as well. So um, from, from that perspective, I think that for me, uh, the current uh, event sites without gates with just three waves in them um, is perfect for me. I do understand that if you're uh, a bit more hardcore, uh, that by now you will easily have grabbed all the skins. And so there's little reason for you to keep uh, playing the sites. But... Yeah, when it comes to uh, CCP's planning for, for these Guardians Gala sites, apparently they're going for a bit of a more casual uh, play style uh, in order to see uh, what people can manage within two weeks. And from that perspective, for me, it's absolutely perfect because I can still run the site, I can still do the sites, and I actually feel like I'm still getting something out of it as well, which we'll see uh, at the end of the videos. It's basically all of those double skins. Um, it starts to uh, to add up. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's finish these frigates as quickly as we can. And then we have a second one as well. This is something... Oh, a third one here as well. Well, this is something that I'm noticing as well. Activity is decreasing. Um, it's a bit later than I expected. Uh, actually, uh, through the last, to, through the first weekend of the event, uh, it was still very busy. Lots of competition for them. Sometimes you had to hunt for sites uh, for quite a bit longer. Uh, but now, uh, about 10 days in, 11 days in, I think that most of the hardcore guys will have gotten the skins that they wanted out of this. Man, that's pretty fast on that cruiser. And as a result, you have a little bit more time um, and a, a, a few more sites uh, in order to uh, to try, try and get in on the Guardians Gala. So for me, it's looking pretty good. When three uh, are remaining, I, I can usually still manage a full reload. So we'll quickly do that while we let the drones take care of these final cruisers. And then I'm ready for the battle cruiser just in case someone else warps in. But with uh, one and two other Guardian uh, sites in the system, yeah, Despite the fact that this is detailed with 24 in uh, in local, nobody's coming in, so it looks like uh, yeah, uh, lower competition, fewer people still running the sites actively. So yeah, I'm not doing a lot of these, right? Maybe I spend an hour uh, or something like that after work running a couple of these sites. Uh, but if you find a good pocket, you can be pretty lucky, if, like here, uh, a system with three of them. Um, could be pretty damn good when you're especially when you're hunting for a specific skin uh god damn it he's actually in the wrong place so let's activate our afterburner uh let's also toss a couple missiles at him and let's see if we can bounce towards him i would like to grab this please return to drone bay finally we're diving under the structure this is almost the most time consuming thing when uh the um when the battle cruiser, oh, demo skin, there we go. When the battle cruiser spawns between you and the actual structure, let's go for that one at 4.2 uh, and see if we can uh, grab this one as well. I'm actually curious to see with 25 people in local, you would think that some other people are also going for these sites because Detail does see a lot of tra traffic these days. It has everything you you could want. Uh, in a system in my opinion especially when you're looking for versatility you've got nosec next door you get losec close by you've got all of these player owned structures low taxes and everything so there is a decent amount of activity uh, before all the structures we had maybe seven eight people in local uh, at this time normally so as you can see all the structures have definitely increased activity here but yep second site and uh, we can definitely still get going here are all the frigates. Let's see if we can handle those. Um, I've also been trying out the hammerheads. I feel like 
they do almost as well. Um, what you saw with the, the first cruiser in, in the previous side is that sometimes they just do so much more damage. Uh, my skill for Galente drones is also ahead of the Minmatar drone specialization. Um, that, yeah, on a few lucky shots, you will actually uh, gain a, f a, a bit of time uh, by using the, the, those that do a bit more damage. So here we go, Angel Cartel Frigate next. Combine that with, uh, with the missiles, it's pretty damn good. Tackle and stop doing double misses, please. There we go. 929, that's what I want to see. That's pretty good. Structure almost gone. One more missile volley. And there she glows. Nice. This one is next. Blap five cruisers. I'll uh, I'll shoot the rest of my um, missiles here at this first guy. There we go. You're next. We're reloading three cruisers left. And they do blow up in a pretty cool way. But as you can see from this, it's pretty fast, it's pretty efficient. You also get some bounty rewards from it if you can chain the sights one after the other. Uh, the uh, the amount of isk you get from bounties is actually not that bad, especially for the effort you're putting in. Three minutes a sight uh, and still getting the bounties for that is not so bad. And yeah, the skins, the skins might actually end up being where the real value is at. Um, a lot of some people, I, I would say, don't particularly like the current set of skill skins, uh, but I think that they're okay. And uh, I actually think that they are going to increase in value later on. So, battle cruiser next. Let's see if we can grab you. Yes. Give me that loot. Another Demos one. Two after another. What are the odds of that? And then let's see if we can still grab the final Guardians Gala Rendezvous point as well. It would be really strange that um, in these seven minutes no one in local would go after these. That would be a clear show that um, activity in them has decreased. Uh, which. I think it's really good news for people that are looking to get into these a bit more casually, especially alpha clones that maybe don't have uh, as powerful ships and have to compete with, with stuff like Helas, like fix or Navy issues, uh, like Ishtars, you know, it can be pretty tricky to do so. I also someone you, uh, saw someone um, use, um, use a Macarial uh, with a bit of a very interesting feat that actually managed to beat me uh, in a race for the battle cruiser two times so it's it's pretty crazy you can do a lot of stuff for an alpha clone though right now it since you know again five frigates available let's use the valkyries on this one um, it seems like it's the perfect time to jump in uh, on some guardians gala sites you're gonna get a lot less competition in them you'll be able to take your time in order to uh, to finish the sites destroy the the battle cruiser for yourself you won't have that many thieves lurking around um, really great and it it finishes on the 28th so it's it's also only for two weeks so giving one week to 10 days for uh, the people that want to grind through this, grab all the skins and then allowing for like another week for the more casual players that can still enjoy this type of content uh, on, on a slightly longer term. I do think for a third week it wouldn't be that much fun anymore. Um, I would probably have all the skins by then, but I feel like this is okay. Like uh, this is not um, too grindy. That's, in my opinion, the, the biggest uh, threat with these kinds of events, uh, which was the case when uh, they did uh, the Shadow of the Serpent, where you basically had to grind a lot of different sites in order to pro uh, just add your a progression bar for unlocking uh, the um, unlocking the rewards. That was just way too grindy. 
and uh, yeah, I tend to play Eve in a, in a decently casual way, so I just couldn't get into the Shadow of the Serpent event. Something like this, for me, feels right on the money, especially on a week where uh, I'm, I'm a lot more busy and I have a lot more stuff to do. First week, lots of competition, probably lots of PvP to be had as well. Second week, you know, everything calms down a little bit and you can uh, try to chain some of these uh, sites even if you don't have an optimal setup. Sounds good to me. So we're definitely going to finish this one off. Let's maybe also toss one more missile at each of them. Then we should end up at zero on the battle cruiser. There we go. As that one blows up, come on, give me some good hits here. Blap. Approach. Missiles. A bit of an afterburner on this one as well. Because it is decently far away. Two missile volleys. And... Has run out of charges. In structure. And blap. There we go. And a Thalia skin as well. I'm pretty sure that I have both of these. Let's try to activate this. Oh, I don't have the Thalia. Okay. Let's see if we can activate the Demos. That's double and triple. So let's quickly dock up to the Strauss. Not forget our drones. I forgot them once. So it still happens even to veterans. I lost two Valkyrie 2s in one of the sites. It despawned so it was gone. I didn't feel like probing so I just bought two new ones. But that still happens to me as well. Uh, something that you should definitely think about when you're using a drone ship is to recall your drones. Still, considering the number of sites that I've done, I think it's okay to have only uh, forgotten it once. Um, but as I've said, right now I'm still running these. I'm still enjoying it as well because you can do this in a pretty casual way. But longer term, the real benefit of this I think will actually be in those skins. So I'll show you what I've gathered so far. And my plan with it is not to bring this to the market right away. I actually want to have a little bit of patience and I'm looking for the right time to sell them. I think that these will increase in value over time, especially uh, these ones now because they have a YC-119 tag on them. So I don't think we'll see these back. And even if CCP would decide to put these skins in... Um, in the store uh, with an orum value they're gonna be worth way more uh, than they have now and here we go in uh, a good week of running these sites um, these are the doubles and the triples that i have so far 300 million in estimated value right now so my plan for these is to uh, bring them over to Jita. i still have some uh, uh, gold iron skins uh, some uh, purity of the throne skins from all the events I actually have doubles and triples ready in Jita and what I'm going to wait for is the right opportunity to sell I'm thinking possibly in the summer um, or possibly after another big release that might bring back uh, players to the game or bring in a new wave of new players for whatever reason such as the ascension expansion um, if a couple years ago we, we would have had a lot of these events and these skins around the ascension expansion i think would have been perfect to start selling them at a profit but yeah 300 million for less than average playing in eve online just running these sites as you saw right here they're pretty easy to run as well and uh, I feel like this is potentially a reward that is going to go up in value quite a lot if you have the patience for it, which is my personal plan with it. So there you go, guys. That's what I wanted to share in this video. A um, bit of uh, giving you guys a bit of an idea as to what I'm still doing at the moment in EVE Online because it's super busy at work. So that's really all I can manage. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.